Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for taking the time to check out today's tips and tricks video. Now, you think you're looking at my X-Lite screen, but you're actually not. You're looking at a video of an X-Lite's presentation. Well, it wasn't really a presentation, but it was kind of an accident. Uh, we were doing a Zoom webinar. Uh, it was the Wednesday night class after uh, the X Essentials, and somebody had a question on how something worked in X-Lite, and as we were beginning to try to do um, the functionality that the person was asking us to describe what it was for, what we learned was that there was a crash whenever you began using that certain functionality. And so what today's video is about, it's about what do you do when there is a crash in x lights and how to go about helping all of the developers by sharing your experiences with the software and the best way, the right way to go about it. So first of all, we have, uh, we have what, what you will see in a second, which is a re reproducible crash. And when we get done, we'll go through the steps afterwards exactly on how to fix this situation. So hang in there. I'm going to cut over to the video right now. And I'm going to say, hey, Keith, this is Clyde here. Um, here's, a, here's an image of uh, one of my snowflakes. I'm right-clicking on the menu here, and I'm going to try and shrink space here by 10%. And whenever I do, I get a crash. So I'm going to go ahead in, in this box here. I'm going to type. And Keith, by the way, I'm, I'm recording this on Zoom at the Zoom meeting on Wednesday night. Uh, I'm going to type in something that's relevant. Uh, that explains what was happening so that whenever Keith runs this through his de debugger, then what you're going to get is you, he's going to get more information on exactly what you were doing when you were doing it. So what we were doing here is we were... Um, all right, and then... Clicking OK sends it into the debug place, the location on the web where this report goes, and it also saves it into your directory. So if somebody asks you for it, you can send it to them as a zip file. Uh, if you click Cancel, x -Lights does nothing. It just it, it deletes whatever this report is, and it doesn't send anything. So when you have a crash, if you know that you did something and you can reproduce it, please, by all means, take your screen capture software and go ahead and record this and then send it into the uh, into the developers because this this is the biggest way to get things fixed in X lights so I'm gonna click OK and now it says crash report is saved to my Dropbox which is where I have everything all right I hope you got the idea of how to um, kind of uh, walk through the presentation of this is what I was doing in X-Lights whenever X-Lights crashed. If you can reproduce a crash, then by all means, please do so because the developers do want to have the program working the very best that it can. Um, but this is the steps that you might want to take in order to get a hold of the software development team. And that is to be able to uh, link a copy of your video. You can always upload to YouTube. YouTube's a free platform for you to upload to. And you can upload your video to YouTube or if you have a way to share it in your, um, in your Dropbox, you could copy a link to it in your Dropbox and you could share it. Now, um, this is where you'd want to share it, is you'd want to go to uh, github.com, that's G-I-T hub, and this is where the X-Lite software is actually housed, and uh, where it's uploaded and committed and drawn out so that we're able to have it. But if, if you log in to GitHub and create a login account for yourself, like I've already done, and you search for smean slash X-Lites, uh, David Pitts is also in here with the F16v3, um, Go ahead and click on or search for the uh, X-Lite, Sean Me and X-Lite's uh, 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 
group. And then what you want to do is you want to click on this tab that says issues. When you click on this tab, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on the green button that says create new issue. And when you do create a new issue, you can then go in and have your, your moment of here's what I, I did. Here's what happened. Um, you can upload screenshots of it, but you can't upload videos here. So it is best that if you do have a bug or if you do have a crash and you've taken the time to make a video, um, then by all means, please link that video. If you have a Dropbox, if you have a uh, upload to YouTube link of, uh, a link of, of the video from YouTube and begin to open a new issue. All you have to do is put the title, I had a bug crash, uh, put, put in the comments, here's what happened, just like you saw in the video. And the more detail that you can give on exactly what was happening, uh, the easier it is and the most helpful it is for uh, items to be fixed that are in x lights any crashes or bugs that you happen to have find now the best part of this software has got to be the developers and i have to, i say this honestly because for the past five years i've been using x lights as a software and it has done an absolutely phenomenal job in its current version and there is so much support for this software not just through the community but from the developers that it's it's absolutely our responsibility as users to help the developers to come out with the very best upgrades and updates. So if you have other issues with X lights or say you're looking for something specific that you really think is a great idea that needs to be added, it has to be something, there's there's some measurable meanings uh, in order for something to be taken into consideration whenever it's put into the program. But by all means, all ideas are looked at and considered, uh, but for uh, but this is absolutely the location that you want to do this in so i don't want to hold you up anymore folks thanks for uh taking the time to stop and listen to the video if you like this video uh, give us a thumbs up uh make sure you hit the big red subscribe button down below and hit the bell for notifications of future videos and finally i want to remind you that we have an awesome sequence club where you get one sequence each month from the Pixel Pro Displays website. And that sequence club is very, very affordable. Have a look at pixelprodisplays.com. Thank you so much for joining us, folks. We will see you in the next video. Down through the chimney with those and me. Sam, and every time it rains, it rains. And hold